गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स डी के सिन्हा दिस साइड और सम डी के दिस साइड फॉर नाइन पी एम मार्केट पल्स वी विल टेक द ग्लोबल आउटलुक ग्लोबल इन साइट ऑफ द वेरियस मेजर स्टॉक मार्केट विच वी डू एवरी मंडे एंड एवरी थर्सडे ड्यूरिंग दाइन पी एम मार्केट पल्स वी कवर ऑल द मेजर स्टॉक मार्केट इन लाइसेंस एंड डू दी टेक्निकल एनालिसिस टू फाइंड दी support and resistance area in various stock markets all over the world before i begin the technical analysis and look the comments made by you uh, because i have been requesting uh, that each of one of you should participate in the live streaming session and arrive at the support and resistance area of s&p 500 or spx nasdaq 100 crude oil or dow jones industrial average index if you do consistently on each live streaming session it will help you to develop the sense of technical analysis understanding the price action analysis and you will be able to become independent in trading in any markets you trade so friends uh, some of the uh people uh they are residing outside india had requested us uh for you know including uh, some other indices from the europe stock market uh in the weekly analysis of the us stock market the video that comes on dk channel every saturday but to them i would like to say that we cover all major stock markets from the europe usa asian stock markets every monday and every uh, uh, thursday uh, so they can always participate and watch this live streamed video later on whenever they get time to have the support and resistance area on various stock market indices but before i begin a very important discussion on 9 pm market pulse i have a good news to share with you can you guess i had made an announcement a few days back on dk sina channel and dk channel a few days back i made a uh, you know uh, some very important announcements it is regarding the channel membership so if you are a dk diamond club member a very powerful trading strategy called sling shot trading strategy which is the top selling course on our mobile application market edge if you have not downloaded the market edge there is a link given right below in the description box of this video you can download the market edge mobile application and watch out for the various important courses and all the courses on that market edge is rule based so your emotion will not come in your way when you design a trading strategy but for now we had announced an offer for dk's diamond club members an exclusive offer those who are active dk diamond club, uh, club members i am offering a free slingshot trading course which is a top selling course of market edge mobile application absolutely free of cost till 31st of august that is the month end current month end 2023 that course is already available on dk sena youtube channel and dk youtube channel for watching by the dk's diamond club members so the course is worth 1948 rupees which is available free of course if you join right now as a dk dk's diamond club member either on dk sena channel or dk channel because the third channel which we own is finance with dk is not yet approved by youtube for membership program so i cannot provide the course on finance with dk channel but if you are a member or if you intend to join the membership then you can watch that program uh, uh, sling shot trading strategy which is rule based the success rate is very very high of that trading strategy and it is a simple trading strategy 
which uh, the course teaches you what is slingshot trading strategy then it tells you how to screen the probable stock which are suitable for slingshot trading how to design a precise trading strategy in a simple rule based manner and then how to fix the stop loss how to fix the target and this for example if you take a risk of say 3000 rupees per trade it enables you to make a profit of 6000 rupees per trade so out of 10 trades if you have done and if you have your success rate has come to say 60% so in 6 trades you will make 36000 rupees and in 3 tra four trades you will lose uh, 12000 rupees so the net profit is very very profitable version uh, so this course is available all those who are dk's diamond club member never miss out the opportunity to watch slingshot trading strategy video multiple times already you can refer to the community post on dk sina channel and dk channel and make a note out of it because this course is only available till 31st of august for example a person joins on uh, 30th of august as a dk's diamond club then he will have only one day to watch that program so i wanted to share this very important this is the course slingshot trading strategy which is a rule based trading strategy course worth 1948 on our market edge mobile application so now let me read out the comments and begin our discussion good evening om i really like the approach of om who always tries to arrive at the uh, key support area and uh, resistance area what he writes is in spx all levels are on closing basis okay view bullish very perfect till 4259 breaks down so he is bullish till the price breaks down below 4259 on closing basis immediate support at 4309 resistance at 4424 4529 closed above 4529 next target would be 4000 very 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 well done really i appreciate now he talks about uh, uh, om has written regarding nasdaq 100 all levels are on closing basis bullish till 13956 breaks down okay immediate support 14641 and 14283 resistance 14885 15131 15441 I request all of you friends if you do your own analysis you know support and resistance is very very important aspect when we want to become a successful trader in the stock market irrespective of the market you trade you trade in indian market you trade in us market you trade in european markets any of the markets in the world these are the very important factors to understand the market then you can set out your stance in the market and create a trading strategy which is a trend following strategy which yields the maximum uh, you know profit in the stock market excellent he is he writes about the uh, dow jones industrial average index all levels are on closing basis bullish till 33623 breaks down means he he will become bearish after 33623 level is broken down immediate support at 34394 34053 resistance at 34637 34880 great he also writes from the next time will define the zone in instead of level for 9 pm very good because ultimately support and resistance are not the specific value it is the zone which is very important because uh, market noises can pull the price down or can pull the price up so ultimately demand zone or a support zone is a zone based on the price action and accordingly the supply zone or uh, resistance area so now let us straight away go to the price chart 
uh, only Om has shared his viewpoint. Uh, I request all the viewers to participate in this live streaming session and share your viewpoints regarding support and resistance area. Don't forget that it is going to be a wrong or something. Everybody in the learning phase, you know, faces some kind of confusion when he looks at the price chart. It happens with everybody. The only thing is if you start interacting, start submitting your viewpoints, you become that much wiser in the process. So I am sharing the price chart. Let us straight away go to the price chart and begin our technical analysis from the crude oil. Can you see the crude oil? This is the double bottom and this is the apex. It has given a breakout of the apex on closing basis on 9th of August. But if you apply the multiplying factor, which has been taught to you in our tutorial series, Zero to Hero, there is a separate playlist on the channel. Then entry did not get triggered. And this correction started. But on the basis of price action, trend reversal has already been indicated in US oil. This is the price chart of WTI crude oil on daily time frame. So trend reversal has taken place. Golden cross is there. So once the price breaks out 84.85, the price is first likely to go at 92.5 where it will face some kind of resistance. And then the target based on this double bottom pattern comes at 95.7. So overall stance in crude oil is bullish. Immediate support is 79 to $80 is the immediate support. Immediate resistance lies at 82.7 to 83.5. So these are the levels which are key. Now let us go to the gold. This is the price chart of XAU USD. Gold is fought against US dollar. What we can see, it was in an uptrending move, making higher highs and higher lows. There was a distribution pattern, double top, gave a breakdown, and then the price is trading in a falling price channel. Now, if you look closely to the price action, this is a support, this is a support, this is a support, this is a support. So if we see this trend line, which was acting as a dynamic support, the price is trading quite in vicinity of this trend line. If you see the structure of the candlestick pattern, the candlestick pattern is showing the loss of downside momentum. So the price is now trading quite in vicinity of the demand area, which is 1880 dollars to 1819 dollars however based on the price action even if the correction goes a little deeper it will take support at around 1835 but the major momentum will develop either on upside or downside if the price breaks out on upside the next target could be 2038 if it gives a breakdown then uh, you know there will be deeper correction in gold price so now let us uh, check the immediate uh, supply area in the gold is 1926 to 1945 dollars. Now let us uh, go and check the DXY. DXY, this is the US dollar index. This is the price chart of DXY. What we can see, overall trend is bearish. There was a very strong pullback, but this trend line is acting as a resistance. Price is getting rejected. So immediate supply area is 103.3 to 104 level where there is a resistance area. However, if it is starts trading above 104, then it will become stronger because it starts trading above SMA 200 and SMA 233. However, as of now, uh, intermediate trend and uh, long term trend is bearish. So Immediate support is 101.5 to 102.22. Now let us check the USD INR currency pair. We have been talking about Indian currency is likely to be weaker. Uh, the stance was bearish for Indian uh, currency against the US dollar. Can we see it was a major breakout in the last week? This was the major resistance area. We have been talking about it. This is the support area and there is a breakout of a symmetrical triangle on upside. There is a minor correction, but now in the process, 
82.8283 becomes a very good support in this currency pair. And even if the deeper correction takes place, it is likely to take support 82.32, 82.59, which means if I calculate the target based on this recent breakout, the first target calculates at 84.54 and next target calculates at 85.5. So Indian currency is likely to be weaker against the US uh, dollar. Now let us go to the Euro USD currency pair. Can we see this currency pair is trading in a rising price channel? Price is taking resistance and price is taking support on the lower fiber. Now currently the price has come quite in vicinity of the lower fiber, which is a confluence of SMA 144 as well. So there is a loss of momentum on downside. So 1.07871 to 1.08464 is likely to act as a good demand area and there are multiple support lower fiber of the rising price channel will act as a support sma 144 sma 200 will act as a support so i think the correction is more or less over and the price is likely to move to upside immediate resistance could be 1.110782 1.12251 to so overall stance in euro usd currency pair is bullish. Now let us check the cryptocurrency. This is the price chart of Bitcoin. What we can see, if you look at the trend line, price has taken support, taken support, taken support. Once again, price is taking, uh, taking support over here. There is a loss of downside momentum. This was the resistance, resistance. It has taken, it has taken. So these two trend line is representing the dynamic support zone ohm has just now talked about the zone of the support and resistance so i'm talking about the dynamic support zone in bitcoin so bitcoin has a good support at 24745 and it is a confluence of sma 200 as well so this vertical uh, fall could be an exhaustion in bitcoin and if the price breaks down below 24745 then the fall would be deeper because there is an existence of double top. However, there is a resistance at 31,750. Once this resistance is taken out, then the price may move to 38,150 level. So overall trend is bullish in Bitcoin, although there has been a correction in recent time. Now let us check the uh, stock market. This is the price chart of S&P 500. SPX, what we can see, if you have watched our video on US stock market weekly analysis, which comes on every Saturday on BK channel, we had discussed the possibility that the correction is more or less over. Now, if you see, this is an important trend line. Price has taken support here, price has taken support here, price has taken support here, and there was a gap down in the last trading session of the last week on 18th of August. And the gap down candle took support on this trend line. And there is already a support based on the price action here. So 4,252 to 4,280 is a strong demand area with an intervening support at 4,320. On upside move, it seems to me that the correction is more or less over. On upside move, 4,414 is an important level. Why it is an important level? Let us go to the weekly price chart. If you see the weekly price chart, the current week's candle, although the week has started today, and the market is live. But it is making an inside bar kind of candlestick pattern. And this is the last bearish candle. The median of this candle falls at 4,414. So 4,414 uh, is an immediate resistance and then ma next major resistance would be 4,469. But overall trend in uh, SPX is looking bullish. Correction is a normal process because it was almost a parabolic rise with a mild correction or consolidation in between. So overall trend is quite bullish. Now let us check the NASDAQ 100. Now, NASDAQ 100 is also trading quite in vicinity of the support. 
can you see this trend line price has taken support taken support taken support once again the price there was a, a gap down opening on 18th of august uh, which was the last trading session of the last week and gap down opening there was a bullish candle which means it was a exhaustion gap so it has a very good support at 14327 to 14600 because this consolidation band will act as a support now immediate resistance could be this consolidation band 15110 to 15275 is an immediate supply area but overall trend is bullish short term trend intermediate trend long term trend all are bullish currently if you see the market is live nasdaq 100 is outperforming the s&p 500 currently now let us go and check the dow jones industrial average index now this index has given a breakout of a rising wedge this was the resistance resistance breakout support 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 and now price is trading quite in vicinity of the lower thing in fact the price has closed below the lower thing so if you see this zone, 34,000 to 34,250 is a very strong support. So if we have a follow through of the last candle, then things may become a little weaker for Dow Jones Industrial Average. But I don't see much correction is left. Why not much correction is left? Because if you see the price structure, multiple resistance existed over here. Multiple resistance. So this area, which was acting as a supply area for a very, very long time in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, is likely to act as a support area. Now, one more price action I would like to explain. There is a minor gap that exists on 11th of July. The gap was created on 11th of July, 2023. So if you see the precisely the gap, gap exists at 33,958, which means 33,958 is a very strong support in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. On upside move, there will be immediate resistance at 34,590 because there is a price rejection, price rejection, multiple price rejection and a confluence of EMA 55. So 34,590 is an immediate, immediate resistance. Once this resistance is taken out, then 34,850 to 35,000. See this, this price action. There is an intervention of EMA 21 also in this zone. So 34,850 to 35,000 post breakout of 34,590 will act as a supply area or resistance area. But if you do the trend analysis on Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, overall trend is bullish. Short term trend is bullish. Intermediate trend is bullish. Long term trend is bullish. Now let us check the Russell 2000 index, which represents the small cap stocks in the US stock market. What we can see, there was a breakout, price support, price support, price support, price resistance, price resistance, price resistance. So it was a breakout of a symmetrical triangle with a beautiful vertical base. Now the price has given a throwback, which is a very normal process. And looking to take support at confluence of SMA 200, SMA 233, SMA 144. So immediate support is 1842 to 1864. In fact, the zone between these two trend lines is entire zone is a demand area. On upside move, there will be resistance in a zone of 1896 to 1950. But overall trend in Russell 2000 is also bullish. Currently, it is trading on a lower side. But if you see the market structure, short term trend, intermediate trend, long term trend, all are bullish. Now let us check the Metaverse ETF. This is the price chart of Rondel Ball Metaverse ETF. If you see the trend line, price has taken support here, taken support here, taken support here. And each time the price has taken support on this trend line, market has gapped down and then buying has come. Similar thing has happened on 18th of uh, August this month, the last trading session of the last week, gap down opening and buying has come back. So it proved to be a probably uh, exhaustion gap. So 9.1 to 9.2 is an immediate strong support area and upside move 
10.18 will act as a resistance area. Overall trend is bullish. However, short term trend has become bearish uh, the, after this uh, major correction which has taken place in round and ball metaverse ETF. Now let us check the European stock market. This is the price chart of FTSE 100 UKX. Now price has taken support here, taken support here, taken support here. Once again, price is taking support. So it is making multiple bottom. This trend line is acting as a resistance. So if it gives a breakout above this trend line, there will be breakout of a triangular bottom. And at the same time, if it is a double bottom, the apex of double bottom lies here. So if it starts trading above 7,700 level, then it will indicate the trend reversal. Currently, if you do the trend analysis on FTSE 100, certainly UK 100 is certainly looking weak, bearish, but it is forming a multiple uh, bottom over here. So possibly trend reversal is possible. Let me little enlarge the price chart. Can you see the uh, today's candle is an inverted hammer kind of structure and more or less, not exactly, but more or less it is forming an inside bar kind of thing, indicating the loss of downside momentum the moment price has come to the demand area. Now let us check the German stock market. This is the price chart of DAX. Now DAX is also trading in a dynamic demand area. If you see this trend line, price has taken support, taken support, taken support, taken support, taken support, taken support, which means zone between these two trend line is an important demand area, is an important demand area. So now uh, if you see the last trading session in the last week, there is a formation of a bullish pin bar near this demand area. Secondly, today's candle is also bullish. However, there is a large upper shadow. But what has happened? The gap which was created on 18th of August has been filled which is a positive sign. So probably uh, it might bounce back from this level. So it has a demand area in a zone of 15,348. Why 15,342 is important? Because there is an existence of a gap over here and this gap was created on 30th March 2023. So price may correct a little bit to, you know, test the SMA 200 and fill up this gap. However, it is almost at the support area. Immediate resistance could be 15,901 and then 16,240. 16,240 is a gap over here, which is existing in DAX index, German stock market. But overall trend is bullish. Long-term trend, intermediate trend is bullish. Short-term trend is of course bearish because EMA 21 has crossed under EMA 55 and short term moving averages are inclining down. Now let us go and check the Spain market. This is the price chart of IBEX 35 index. This is the Spain market. If you see it is trading in a rising price channel. Price is taking resistance. Multiple support can be seen and once again the price formed the bullish pin bar near the lower fiber of the rising price channel. So last time we discussed about this support area of 9192 to 9252. This is likely to be acting as a demand area. So the price currently is trading quite in vicinity of the major support area. Can you see the price has taken uh, support earlier to at this important level. Immediate resistance could be 9,427 to 9,500 is a supply zone. But once this supply zone is taken out, price is likely to test to upper fiber of this, uh, you know, rising price channel, which may uh, result into the price touching to something around 9,900 in IBEX 35 index. Now let us check the uh, French market. This is the price chart of TAC 40. This is the price chart of CAC 40. Price has taken support, taken support, once again bouncing back from the confluence of the support area and the confluence of SMA 200. There is a bullish pin bar. So price is trading in a broader range. If you see, the price is trading in a broader range. Breakdown will make the price uh, weaker. Breakout will make the price uh, you know, stronger. 
So 7,082 to 7,150 is a strong demand area, while immediate resistance could be in a zone of 7,357 to 7,403. Overall trend is bullish, long term trend and intermediate trend is bullish even in the French market that is CAC 40. Uh, however, in short term trend instance has changed to a bearish because EMA 21 has crossed under EMA 55. Now let us check the Asian stock market. Let us begin with the Japanese stock market. This is the price chart of Nikkei 225 index. Now what we can see. It has formed something like ABCD pattern. This is A, this is B, this is C, and this seems to be the correction, seems to be nearing over. This is an important demand area, 31,150 to 31,500. But if this demand area is broken down, then the next major support is quite lower, 29,223. Why this will act as a support? If you see here, it has formed earlier a rounding pattern. A neckline of rounding pattern falls at 29,223. As if now considering the price action, it seems that the correction is over because the complex correction ABCD pattern seems to be completed. If you see the past three trading sessions, there is absolutely loss of downside momentum in this index. Immediate resistance could be 32,692, uh, 629 to 33,100. Now let us check the Hong Kong market. This is the price chart of Hang Seng Index. Can you see this is trading in a falling channel? Resistance, 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 support, support, and it is quite in vicinity of the support. Now the question here arises is whether it will break down this level. If it breaks down this level, then the next support is 17,364 because there is an existence of a gap over here. This gap will act as a good support. So overall structure is weak in Hansen index. It will become good only when it gives a breakout of this rising price chart. So immediate resistance could be 18,044 and then possibly to 18,800 to 19,050. So overall structure is weak, short term trend, intermediate trend, long term trend is bearish in Hansang index. Now let us check the Chinese stock market. This is the Shanghai composite index. Can we see here too it is trading in a falling channel. Can you see the price structure, support and resistance area. But overall structure is B. Earlier it has given a breakout of a reversal chart fashion. This is a left shoulder, head formation, right shoulder and a breakout. This could be considered as a major throwback towards neckline. So the support area is 3062, 3080. This is the immediate support area. Immediate resistance could be to something around uh, based on the price action. Immediate resistance could be something around uh, 3150 rather 3131 to 3150 and then next resistance will come at 3190 where there is an existence of a gap and multiple moving averages are converging at one point of time sma 233 sma 200 ema 21 ema 55 now let us go and check the indian stock market this is the price chart of nifty 50. If you see the overall structure, the overall structure is bullish in Indian stock. The price structure here can be seen as a, again, a complex kind of correction. Unless this trend line gives a breakdown, nothing to worry. 19,207 is an existence of gap over here. So 19,201 to 19,300 is likely to act as a good demand area because there is an intervention of EMA 55. There is an intervention of this falling trend line, which may finally, you know, if it gives a breakdown, it will prove to be a neckline. And then again, a price action based. 
Today, we thought that the market will close above, Nifty 50 will close above 19,408. Uh, and so it will be a morning star kind of formation. Price went up to 19,425.95, but failed to close above 19,408, which was a critical level. Let us see whether tomorrow we have a follow through. So immediate supply area is 19,467 to 19,570. So this is all about the stock market. Those who have joined late, uh, I would like to, uh, before I see the comments, if you have any question, I would like to again tell those who are a DK's Diamond Club member. Today I have announced, uh, we had announced earlier, any DK's Diamond Club member will get the Slingshot trading course worth 1948. Absolutely free of call till 31st of August. So if you are already a DK's Diamond Club member, you can straight away start watching, can watch multiple times to consolidate the knowledge on slingshot trading, which is a very, very powerful trading strategy. Being the course containing the rule-based trading strategy, your emotion will not affect the implementation part of the trading strategy. So if you haven't joined the DK's Diamond Club, you can join on DK Sina channel or DK channel. Both the DK's Diamond Club members on both the channels will get this course as free. But to a caution, this course is available in Hindi language. So those who do not understand Hindi, it will not be of the, uh, use to them. And let me tell you, this is the top selling course of Market Edge mobile application that I own. So don't delay, join as DK's Diamond Club member and uh, uh, enjoy the course. This is the course, Slingshot Trading Strategy, Rule Based Trading Strategy, course worth 1948. So the joining fee of DK's Diamond Club is much less than the course fee. And at the same time, you get four weekly sessions covering 12 stocks with a precise strategy. So now let me read out your comments. If you have any question, you can ask. Silver USD view. Okay. Let us go to XAG USD. Silver spot. Ramesh, the price bounce back to kar rahi hai support area se. Lekin achha hoga ki hum thoda sa patience rakhe. Aur ye dekhiye, uh, double bottom ka formation hai. To agar aapko content trend trending karni bhi hai, jo ki mein suggest nahi karta hu, to aap iska uh, bahut strong resistance hai, isko 23.7 dollar. To risk to reward ratio nahi milega. Lekin ek baar agar ye double bottom ka breakout ho gaya, तब यहां पर ट्रेडिंग करने में रिस्क टू रिवार्ड रेशियो अच्छा मिलेगा तो यहां देखिए अगर मैं इस डबल बॉटम का अपेक्स देखूं तो वो है 25.459 तो 25.25 मैं मार्क कर रहा हूं इसको रमेश जी 25.259 इस दी अपेक्स मैं कोऑर्डिनेट को फिक्स करता हूं 25. 259. कोई भी कैंडल अगर 25.259 के ऊपर क्लोज होती है, तो इट विल गिव अ ब्रेकआउट ऑफ अ डबल बॉटम पैटर्न एंड देन यू कैन प्ले फॉर द टारगेट ऑफ 27.5 डॉलर्स. सो आई थिंक आई हैव कवर्ड ऑल द क्वेश्चंस. एनी क्वेश्चन? Zen Technologies. So Zen Technologies में देखिए ये multiple यहाँ पर gaps हैं. ये gap को तो market बढ़ सकता है. ये देखिए consolidation part है. तो अगर आप positional trader हैं, अगर short term trader हैं तो target achieve हो गया. आप देखिए ये bullish flag का breakout था, ये target achieve हो गया. लेकिन आप positional trader हैं 
तो आपको स्टॉप लॉस देखिए कंसोलिडेशन बैंड जो है इसके नीचे रखना होगा इसके नीचे रखना होगा और प्रेफरेबली अगर ई एम के तो अप्रोक्सीमेटली अगर ये प्राइस एक्शन को मैं देखूं तो आपका टी एस एल करीब फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव के नीचे होना चाहिए आई हैव स्टार्टेड इन्वेस्टिंग इन मेटावर्स एटीएफ इनवर्स हेड एंड शोल्डर एंट्री वॉज ट्रेगर एट नाइन पॉइंट फोर मेटावर्स एटीएफ टू बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर नेक्स्ट टेन ईयर्स फिफ्टीन ईयर्स यू नो इन एटीएफ नेवर फिक्स समथिंग एटीएफ इज अ सच अ थिंग वेर द रिस्क इज वेरी लेस बिकॉज इफ यू सी दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट ऑफ मेटावर्स एटीएफ ऑल टॉप कंपनीज आर देर नाइनटी परसेंट स्टॉक्स आर लार्ज कैप स्टॉक्स it contains microsoft it contains nvidia it contains uh, meta platforms all top companies tsmc uh, these are the constituents and it has a geographical diversification as well so metaverse etf has to be considered for long term investment not for trading purpose we have enough video on metaverse etf you can watch on the channel on dk channel and dk sena channel Okay, I forgot to share the chart. Zen Technology. See, I had said in Zen Technology, market structure is higher highs and higher lows. There is a multiple gap over here. Those who were the short term trader and uh, were trading here, the target achieved. Those who were trading here, target achieved. Now, if you are a positional trader, then you have to keep the stop loss below this consolidation. below this consolidation band and if you see your stop loss will come somewhere around 560 below 565 bel view let us go to bel तो बीएल ऑलरेडी हम लोग का ट्रेडिंग ऑन है रमेश जी डीके डायमंड क्लब में और ये बाउंस बैक कर रहा है बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट लेवल से ये आप देखिए सपोर्ट एरिया है प्राइस को अगर ध्यान से देखें तो एक राइजिंग प्राइस चैनल में प्राइस ट्रेड हो रही है तो ये यहां से बाउंस बैक है ये प्राइस स्ट्रक्चर ऐसे ही हायर हाइस एंड हायर लोस का रहने वाला है इसका ब्रेकआउट होगा तो फिर यहाँ पर प्राइस में एक्सपेंशन होगा तो यू कैन प्ले फॉर द टारगेट ऑफ 147 जो स्ट्रेटजी डिस्कस की गई है डीकेस डायमंड क्लब में उसी को फॉलो करें बार बार स्ट्रेटजी को डेविएट करना ठीक नहीं एस्ट्रल तो एस्ट्रल भी हम लोगों ने स्ट्रेटजी डिस्कस की है तो यहां पर आप प्ले कीजिए टारगेट के लिए 2300 के लिए और जो स्ट्रेटजी डीके डायमंड क्लब में डिस्कस की गई है वही इंटैक्ट है ये आप देखिए ओवरऑल ट्रेंड बुलिश है ये कप एंड हैंडल पैटर्न फॉर्म कर रहा है तो इसका पहला टारगेट 2138 होगा बट हमें प्ले करना है 2300 के लिए ओवरऑल ट्रेंड बुलिश है एस्ट्रल में भी पीएनबी चलिए पीएनबी के प्राइस चार्ट में चलते हैं पीएनबी देखिए ओवरऑल ट्रेंड बुलिश है और यहां अगर ध्यान से देखें आप तो ये एक मेजर ट्रेंड लाइन थी ये अगर मैं इसको आपको वीकली चार्ट में दिखाऊं तो ये एक मेजर ट्रेंड लाइन थी जिसका ब्रेकआउट हुआ है पीएनबी में तो ये लेफ्ट शोल्डर है हेड का फॉर्मेशन है राइट शोल्डर है उसके पहले मल्टीपल बॉटम का यह ब्रेकआउट हुआ था और ये आप देखिए ये अकोमलेशन एरिया भी था तो अब ये इसका टारगेट जो है पहला टारगेट जो है जो आप शॉर्ट टर्म के लिए प्ले करेंगे वो है सेवेंटी वन का उसके बाद टारगेट है सेवेंटी नाइन का तो ये स्टॉक एक अच्छा स्टॉक हो सकता है 
to ride the trend and trail the stop loss because market structure is looking very very strong if you see on the daily price chart there is a breakout of a bullish flag this was the major impulse and this is a breakout of a bullish flag so agar main bullish flag ke hisab se target nikalu to iska pehla target 71 aata hai aur second target 79 aata hai so overall trend in pnb stock is bullish short term trend intermediate trend long term trend all are bullish in the recent time there has been a you know golden cross also in this particular stock pnb housing so pnb housing may if you are a positional trader as you are trading you are holding it since long then you should follow this trend line this trend line is holding good this is the trend line you should follow this trend line is also coinciding with ema 55 so 1 atr below this trend line could be your trailing stop loss you suggested in november yes so this is a long term story uh, don't be disturbed with short term volatility because its constituents are so strong that uh, uh, you know it has apple it has all top companies in the world so possibility of its failure is very very less so just keep on uh, holding it uh, with a sole aim of creating wealth so if you have any question you can ask any further question so once again those who are already a dk's diamond club member they should start watching uh, slingshot trading video i have already shared on the community post and uh, watch it multiple time make your own note because this course will be available free of cost to dk's diamond club members till 31st august only so if somebody joins on 30th august he will get only one day to watch that video welcome home welcome so i think i have covered all the questions so thank you very much for watching and looking forward to meet you very very soon have a nice time good night my friends